Hi, I'm Julie Bliven. And I'm Kristen Adet Fucarly. And we met at Simmons. Text, friendship challenge, Julie and Kristen. Kristen reads an index card. So Julie, how did we meet? And what were your first impressions of me? You were a recruit, a prospective student, and so you were staying overnight with me. I think you went to a game and or a practice, and I know that we really wanted you to, to join the team the following year. And my memory of us meeting is that you were the chattiest person I'd ever met. You hit the target on every single question a prospective student could ask, <laughs> and it was just a comical memory we have of that first uh, you know, overnight when you were still in high school. I probably still have some more questions for you. So. <laughs> Julie now reads an index card. How would you describe my running face? <laughs> oh my goodness. You and I would always get partnered up with Coach Price's workouts and you're just like, hi, Kristen, how are you? Can you hold that weight for me? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And I go underneath you and you're like, ah. <laughs> like it is the most intense face. Like you don't put 50% into anything you do. So just seeing you even work out, it was like 110%, like, here I go. <laughs> Kristen reads the next card. Is there anything you wish you've done before graduating that you didn't get the chance to do? I wish that I had explored the, the city and the greater Boston area even more than I did when I was here. Because, you know, after graduation, I stayed here and got to explore more, but you know, I was a professional and it just, I think we would have had an even richer experience if I had um, taken advantage of the city that much more than we already were doing. Julie reads the next card. Kristen, can you talk a little bit about what's been an impactful moment or experience for you at Simmons? Well, it wasn't so much an impactful moment, but more of um, a transition for me. I had um, this excitement of coming to Simmons for so many reasons, but I didn't realize the impact of the all women's school. Um, I got a chance to build confidence in myself. I found my voice. I found some wonderful deep friendships um, like us. And you know, people ask me, why are you going to an all women's school? And I was just like, it's in the middle of Boston. Why wouldn't you go to an all women's school in the middle of Boston? But it, now looking back, if I were to do it again, I, being in all women's school was a huge part of my experience here. Like it wasn't intentional or deliberate, and then it ended up being such a bonus, and yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Kristen reads the next card. How has our friendship evolved? What is your favorite thing about our connection now? We don't really have each other at our fingertips the way we did in school, and we're so busy with our careers and our families, and I think we have evolved to just make the most out of our time together and to prioritize seeing each other, which can be really tricky no matter what age you are. And I think we've evolved to really share with each other our careers in a way that uh, is pretty unique. And you know, you having studied education at Simmons and you know, I with English and Children's Lit, there's an overlap there that's natural. So, you know, you've had me in your classroom and you've come to some of my author's events when they're doing book signings or, you know, things like that. And so I think we just make a deliberate effort to try to replicate what we had at Simmons when we were at each other's fingertips. Yeah, and I think even when we're not together, we find ways of bringing each other into our each other's lives. Just one of the things is the book said, you'd always recommend different books for me. And, one of them was Miss Biddlebox, and I remember when any time my class is having a bad day, I'm like, all right, let's whip out Miss Biddlebox, mm -hmm. like, you know, and it has a signature from you and have a little bit of you in my class as well, so. I love that. <laughs> one of my favorite memories of you is our sense of humor is one of our hugest connections, and I remember you and Brett coming to the house, and you had just spent time in my classroom, so you were like, listen, I need you to sign these hours you know, can you just sign here? But you like, wouldn't let me quite see the whole sheet. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And I signed it because I trust you. And then right after Brett and you pull it up and you're like, booyah, you're marrying us. <laughs> you had me like sign the officiant like yes. sheet. And I just remember just being like, that is, that was the funniest thing. Cause I had no idea that you would ever ask me. And it was yeah. the biggest honor that you asked me to do that. And no, that's one of my favorite memories too. Of course, it was my husband's idea to prank you, to have you sign a document saying you'll be our justice of the peace. And I just think it's really cool that, 
you know, we met, you know, right off the bat in college or before, and then you ended up introducing me to my husband and marrying us. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty rare, beautiful story. Yeah. yeah. Agree. A tree on the university seal. Text, Simmons University Boston, Massachusetts, 1899.